do not try and copy and paste those meta descriptions for each different page make sure you're writing unique meta descriptions for each page here are some of the best practices that you can follow while you're writing your meta description because if i'm not mistaken your website has an about us your website has a you know maybe four or five different other pages that you're utilizing uh, in order to convey your message so each and every one of them should have a unique meta description for each page always always remember each website is a representative of you in the search there all right so wherever somebody is coming through depending on what their search intent is they might not come through the home page they might not come through the contact us form they might come through a blog or they might come through one of your service pages. You want to make sure that each and every one of them has the meta description aligned to what that page actually does so that you do not um, cope what is called a bounce rate. I'll be talking about that a little bit later on. All right. And make sure that your um, search, you know, your meta description is using action oriented copy. So action oriented copy is literally telling people what to do, because if you don't tell people what to do, like get your results with us or click here to get started on your journey, give them a call to action because they are in the meta description. That's the only chance that you have before somebody makes, um, you know, clicks through to your website. So you want to give them a reason to click through so that they um, interact with your content further or the rest of your website. And make sure that within those meta descriptions, you are including target keywords. That is very, very important because the more um, of the keywords that you're putting in there signify to Google that you understand and you have the right content to be giving, um, you know, whoever is searching for whatever it is that you're putting out there. And make sure within the description there, you are matching search intent. If you have not um, watched the previous um, section of this video or the other video that talks about search intent, please do. Uh, it will be linked in the comments below. The reason being with search intent, it covers your customer journey. Which section or which part of your customer journey is your customer approaching your, 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 your service from? Are they looking for information? Are they looking to be informed? Are they looking to purchase? So you want to make sure that your meta description also, um, you know, um, is, is matching the search intent of whoever is making that intent in the simplest possible way. Your meta description is just a summary of what you do and who you do it for. So make sure it is got a call to action to make um, whoever is looking at the sea of me two websites that do exactly what you do um, there to make the decision to click through to your website and provide an accurate summary. All right. Do not create a bait and switch where people you write really good copy and then when they go to the website it's not exactly what they um were looking for so i'm hoping that when you really uh start looking at it in that way that you start treating your website as any other book in a library all right where even if there's 500 or 600 books out there each and every one of the books in this room has a title which shows us what it does and a bit of a summary which becomes the meta description.